School shootings sadly have almost become routine. After each one, the conversation turns to gun control, metal detectors, or even arming teachers. But there's something else, something much less controversial that could help prevent future tragedies. 13 News Now investigative reporter Laura Geller found a different take on the conversation. Phyllis Patton walks the halls of Granby High School in Norfolk with a smile on her face. Come on, I'll walk you. That smile hides the fears that run through this school counselor's mind as she scrutinizes each student she sees, hoping they are okay. There are times when I wake up at night at home and I think about a student that comes to mind. Um, that, and I think, you know, I may even write that name down and say, I need to see that student first thing in the morning. It's because I need to check on them. Check on them because in the aftermath of school shootings like Parkland and Virginia Tech, records often show there were mental health concerns, which were never addressed. It could have been prevented, maybe. Um, that maybe if the student had um, been identified earlier and received the help that they needed. But today's school counseling is like a balancing act. Counselors like Patton are charged with not only addressing the mental health, academic and career needs of students, but they also have to take care of things like testing and scheduling and event planning and a lot of meetings. Would I like more time to be able to comb through my caseload and look and see my kids and just check them out every day? And yes, I, I, I would love that time. And do I have it? No. I'm going to call your mom before the end of the day today. More staffing would give counselors more time. The American School Counselor Association recommends no more than 250 students for every one counselor. But our nationwide Tegna investigation shows nearly 85% of schools did not meet that standard in the 2015-2016 school year. That's more than eight out of every 10 schools. Here in Hampton Roads, few, if any, of the schools we were able to get information on meet that ratio. We can make a difference if given the opportunity. April Harmon is a past president of the Hampton Roads Counselors Association. She also coordinates counselors for Norfolk Public Schools. We do it to the best of our ability, given the restraints that are often on us. Norfolk Superintendent supports getting counselors back to their core jobs. That's also the focus of new legislation in the General Assembly right now. Lawmakers will also consider spending millions of dollars to bring all schools in Virginia to that nationwide recommendation. If the kids are not afforded the opportunity to establish a meaningful relationship with an adult in the building, is the situations that we're hearing of could become more frequent, which is unfortunate. That's just the bottom line. A bottom line with high stakes. That's the way we lose someone because we don't see it fast enough. Um, that's the way a student decides to, you know, to take out his frustrations on classmates um, because his mental health is not being addressed. Virginia's statewide requirements for that ratio go by grade level. None of them are as low as the 1 to 250. That could change if lawmakers pass that new legislation in the GA right now. And if you're curious about the situation at your child's school, we've put a searchable database on our website for you. Laura Geller, 13 News Now.